Five outstanding Nigerians have been recognized for their fit in promoting transparency and accountability in their workplaces. The Nigerians, who were recognized by the Accountability Lab Nigeria as part of its Integrity Icons initiative, were commended for actions which ensured the procurement processes in their workplace were fair, transparent and corruption-free. Our correspondent, Idong Joseph, reports. It was a special opportunity to recognize the seven Nigerians who had the best virtues of integrity and transparency in the workplace. Those recognized were Tani Ali Nimian, an assistant director of NAPDAC, Christian Ehazu, the head of ICT at the University of Port Harcourt, Tina Odinakachi, a lecturer at the University of Jos, Kachlon Bertrand, a teacher in the River State, and Francis Erabo, a police officer in Akwaibum State. The country director, Accountability Lab Nigeria, Friday Ode, explained why these icons were selected. Do we still want the change we want to see in this society? Do we want... I've seen a couple of young people who are passionate about this job and that drives me as well, so we need this change. So in the voting process, we want you people to know like these people still exist in Nigeria and these are the people that can drive the change we want to see in our communities. The president of the MacArthur Foundation, John Parfre, says the Integrity Icon Program illustrates the need for unconventional and non-traditional means of fighting corruption. The ICON program illustrates the need for unconventional and non-traditional methods of fighting corruption that are not problem-focused and centered on notions of compliance and enforcement. The importance of naming and faming versus naming and shaming is that it creates a positive narrative, rebuilds trust between citizens and government officials, and most importantly, builds hope that things can change. Some of the awardees expressed excitement over the recognition, saying that it is a morale booster and will encourage others to do the same. I feel very motivated, highly motivated, that my sojourning in the path of integrity really has paid off. That I've been named and famed by uh, Accountability Lab. It's not just for me, but it encourages other colleagues who are behind and around me to say yes. For, the, for once, Nigeria is recognizing the right thing. I stand for the right thing. You don't cheat in exams. You have to do the right thing. You don't need to pay through to get marks or grades. So I felt there's a need for us to change that narration where lecturers have been on the news severally asking for money for grades, sex for marks and all of that. Quite a lot of us are doing the right thing. So I'm happy the such light is on us again, lecturers, and for the right thing. Joseph, Plus TV, Africa.